everyone. Uh, I'm just going to say a few words shortly and then uh, open it up for questions. But um, just uh, really a few thanks to a lot of people that have um, helped us get to where we are. Um, all our sort of support staff back here, um, our athletic, tra athletic trainers, strength and conditioning staff, uh, nutrition, and, and everyone really throughout the administration that either help uh, myself on a daily basis for getting things done, or uh, a lot of people, uh, especially on the academic side, that um, help the students on a daily basis to make their lives as easy as possible and make sure that we're as prepared as possible for um, championships, championships like this. So um, it was obviously an incredible weekend for us. Um, the whole trip was uh, you know, different for a championship to go that far. Um, and then uh, you know, we're there a little bit longer than we normally are. So a lot of different things went into into the preparation, and it was really a, you know a fabulous championship overall. And we're you know obviously delighted to um, get the result that we did, and happy to be back. So um, with that, I'll really open it up to, to you guys and answer any questions. Yeah, I know the mental aspect of rifle a lot of times gets overlooked. When you think back on this team. And the mental toughness that this team showed, especially going into the second day and performing the way they did, is that something that's really going to stick out? In your uh, yeah, certainly. I think um, our support definitely, mental toughness is, is a huge part of that. Um, you know, the first person I have to thank for that is, is Raymond Pryor, who, who works with the team on our, on our mental training and, and the, the sports psych side of things. And Raymond's been with us for you know, over four years now. Um, but he really has made a huge difference to, to our program and, and making sure that the team members are, are prepared. Um, but yeah, like you said, mental toughness is, is huge, not just for um, to be able to come back and shoot better on a second day, but um, just going throughout the season, uh, dealing with ups and downs, um, and just really being mentally prepared for um, for a match like that that's a little, you know, a little bit bigger. I mean, we we stress and prepare that it's you know it's another match, um, but I'm sure the ones that experienced it, it's um, you know it, it's a, there's more people there, it's a different atmosphere, uh, it's sometimes different conditions, and I think the the mental toughness and the mental strength that uh, that our team members had um, and have really had all year, um, you know, really set them apart and allowed them to still. Uh, perform at a really high level in, in that environment. Do you seem just like the normal team going into the second day, sense that they were in a really good spot? Yeah, definitely. I think they were, um, you know, relaxed. Um, you know, we had a brief uh, chat that evening, and, you know, they'd actually all performed really well, um, you know, that first day, but just the result hadn't been you know, what we wanted to be, and when I say perform well, they've, they've done all the things that um, that we would ask them to do, of um, staying disciplined and staying patient and staying calm, and um, and just sometimes, you know, there's, there's days where you struggle. So, absolutely, we tried to treat it like another another day, the next day, a, a sort of new competition. Um, you know, we, you know, like our sport, it's, it's uh, there's parts that are out of our control. We've got no idea how Alaska are going to shoot, and we can't control how they're going to shoot. So we have to just, uh, you know, stay calm and stay relaxed, and uh, just still go out there and try and shoot our best with a with a clear mind. So I think uh, I think they all did an excellent job of that. Um, I think they were certainly, uh, you know, up for it that day and, and motivated and um, ready to go. And you know, they still were able to go out there and, and do an excellent job of. Uh, sticking to their, their sort of game plan and match plan and, and shooting really well. They referred to Marin's performance and Air Rifle was incredible. It was right up there in the, the Nico and Petra range. As you think back on that now, just um, Yeah, definitely. You know, 598 is uh, an awesome Air Rifle score. So um, wherever it is, you know, even if it's in practice, but to do it on a, on a stage like that and a, a big competition, um, you know, I'll let Myron speak more, but I know she was uh, probably a little disappointed after the first day, and she came out and really shot great that second day, and um, I know she was a little bit nervous before the match, so, you know, again, to be able to control all those emotions and um, maintain 
that sort of focus and discipline. Um, you know, I I would say it's uh, maybe the second highest you know score ever shot at, at an NCAA championship in, in air rifles. So you know, obviously there's, there's there's not much higher that you can shoot, but you know, absolutely that's you know the likes of Nico and Petra that have shot those type of scores and. Um, you know, I think you just throw in all the conditions, um, you know, it being her last match and the, you know, the, um, you know, the high scores that we needed to shoot that day to, um, to kind of gain some ground on Alaska, you know, all those conditions rolled in, um, just you know, really made it a great performance. You mentioned the distance you had to travel. Did it help with the fact you had already gone there once this year and you kind of knew what to expect as far as everything outside of the match, sure. where you're going to fly yeah, into it, 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 Yeah, it definitely helps. You know, you have that familiarity aspect of it. Um, we were definitely able to maybe prepare better, and, uh, you know, we had some travel issues getting up there, some delayed flights, and, um, you know, we wanted to make sure that, you know, things would be as smooth as possible, and, you know, made sure that our connections were long enough, and that we flew a little bit earlier to have some more time up there to recover, and, um, you know, just kind of little details to, to be ready for that. And I think once we were there, it was, it was just that comfort factor and an and environment that you feel more familiar with. We stayed in the same hotel. Um, you know, we know where we're going to the range. We know where there's restaurants and all kinds of little things like that just gives you, um, you know, for us as a staff, it probably makes it a little bit more uh, relaxing. Just we feel more prepared and relaxed. And I'm sure, um, you know, from the athletes, just that comfort factor of, feels a little bit more familiar than it being, you know, a whole new environment. So um, I don't think you can ever be prepared for the cold up there. It's still pretty, uh, pretty cold uh, weather-wise. But yeah, you get that comfort factor. So uh, that trip that we made in January was definitely um, very beneficial. And also, of course, shooting on the range. You know, there you go back to a range and little things that you remember and feel familiar with. And you know, their their range is a good range. There was nothing too quirky or weird that we necessarily had to prepare for, but. You just have that comfort factor, and you're you're um, you're ready for it. You're shooting on their home range. We often talk in sports about home field advantage, but does that does that make any difference? Is there a home range advantage? Um, well, I think you know back to that comfort factor. You know, their five shooters shoot there every day, so you know they basically <coughs> were able to walk out of their locker room straight onto the firing point and shoot somewhere that they they shoot day in day out. So. I definitely think um, it doesn't hurt them in any way. Um, I think they probably have a more of a more of a comfort <coughs> feel shooting on the range. Um, now the second day when we shot air rifle, we're up in a up in their gym hall and not somewhere that where they compete every day. So it's maybe more of a of a level level playing field. Um, but you know, at the, at the same time, there's maybe more distractions for them to deal with as a as a host team um, hosting championships. I'm sure their staff had a lot more work to do to prepare. So, um, you know, I think there's pros and cons both ways. Um, their athletes still shot incredibly well. They still shot one of their best matches uh, of the year. So, um, you know, ended up being an incredibly close match. Um, but I think, you know, definitely shooting on your home range is always gonna be beneficial. Kind of know that this year, your fourth title as a head coach here, and you've been going through the getting back here and the congratulations and all that. Uh, any, anything since you've gotten back here and interaction you've had with people, something that really stands out? Um, I don't think we've been back long enough, to be honest. When did you um, we got back at noon yesterday, and um, I went home a couple hours after that, so. Um, no, I don't think anything, you know, obviously lots of really nice messages from, um, you know, alumni, from supporters, um, you know, Shane and President Yee sent messages, and so I think, you know, all of those are, are really nice. It's, it's great to hear from, especially the Rifle Team alumni, but just all, you know, Mountaineer supporters and, and fans that, um, you know, are able to, to look at the scores and, and check in and, and send messages, so... Um, haven't really been out and about for anything uh, weird or different, but you know, it, there's always a lot of support for the team. Um, you know, even if they don't see it at the ranges, or um, you know, there's always. Uh, I, I think I took a couple pictures with people coming back 
uh, through the airports, and we um, we were able to carry one of the trophies with us to to save a bit of shipping. So, you know, definitely lots of great comments for that, and a few pictures here and there. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it's always a good reception, and um, you know, but uh, nothing too crazy.